coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster, and if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here tonight. We would be talking about a one-round fight, because right. there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab, the head movement. It's never on a line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle, he's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot yeah. to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Some oh, people think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart with similar height and reach. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Jean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the USC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Lover! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Martial artist, you want to compete at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, and today, 2016, a lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A., and when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great... Oh! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him dig that body shot right up through his opponent's third. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, collar tie. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up with a great punch like this quick? I'm excited to see what happens. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Take more of these legs.
leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He lands with the knee to the bottom. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice kick. Right hand punch to the clinch. And he landed the right hand there. Spinning yeah, he's back. Really bad. He's got him hurt here. Blocks the shot. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big shots being landed on both sides here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. He went high up that way. Big ball for Lance. Now we get back to range. Very tricky he throws that body kick. And they separate. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Big leg kick land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice kick. leads with the right hand there. A lot of these strikes are set up by good footwork, yes? They are set up by good footwork, and he's not having to throw the jab every time because that right hand is just so fast. Got the single collar tie. Big head kick lands. Straight punch. Superman punch. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. And they separate. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, that right hand is on point. Strong defense there to block the shot. Leg kick. Ten seconds now to go in the round. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that one. Connects now with the one-two. Round two is next. That's what I'm talking about. Hurt. Finish him though this time, all right? in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, he lands another strike. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. All right, he 
he engages in the single collar side. Look at the weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, single collar time. Huge here. elbow there. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground pound. That's it. And that will do it. It's over. It's over. What a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. 